Hello, Kid Venture. I hope you guys are doing well and enjoying these online lessons, but I cannot wait to be back in person to teach you guys again. In this week's lesson, you're going to hear a story about Jesus appearing to two men on the road to Emmaus after his resurrection. It's a great story. I hope you guys have a great week. We can't wait to see you again. We miss you. Talk to you soon. God loves us and he gave his only son he is awesome Jesus nothing can stop him he's too strong yeah we're singing Jesus is alive he's alive oh yeah everybody celebrate Jesus is flowers we planted are making me so happy. They light up the whole clubhouse. Where do you think would be the best place to put them? Oh, I know. <laughs> I love these flowers. They make my fuzzy wuzzy heart so happy. Hmm, where do you think I should put Devin's flower pot? Aha! Ta-da! This is the perfect place for a chocolate chip cookie flower pot. Poppy's flower pot is so super colorful and fun. 
Maybe I should leave it right here, in the middle of the clubhouse. How's that? Wait a minute, there's only three. Where's Kai's flower pot? Uh, oh, I remember. Kai gave his flower pot to his grandma. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? You've made quite the flower garden. It's true. Hi, Ollie. They're just so beautiful. It makes my heart happy to look at them. It's good to find something we love. Who? Who? And even better to share it with others, too. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, hey friends, all month long, we've been celebrating Easter and how Jesus is alive. That reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. And done. Okay, now today's true story from the Bible happens on a mountain. Jesus told his friends, the disciples, to meet him on the mountain. Well, here are the disciples, but where is Jesus? Do you see him? When you see him, yell, Jesus, is he over here? What about over there? Do you see him? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Yay, Jesus. <laughs> so Jesus went to his friends, the disciples, and he told them he had an important job for them to do. It's an important job that he wants us to do too. Do you want to know what it is? Say, I want to know, I want to know, ready? I want to know, I want to know. <laughs> Good. Jesus said our important job is to tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Whoa, do you think we can do it? Let's say that together. Jesus is alive and we can follow him. One more time. Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Let's practice. Oh look, it's Grandpa. Let's tell him Jesus is alive and we can follow him. All together now, ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Great. It's our neighbor checking her mail. Let's tell her too. Ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Let's do one more. Hey, look, it's our friends playing in the park. Let's tell them, ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. <laughs> we did it. Great job, everyone. That's what Jesus wants us to do, to tell everyone everywhere that he's alive and we can follow him. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. We can follow Jesus, and we can tell others too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Jesus told his friends to tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive and that we can follow him too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I think these flowers are so beautiful. I can't just keep them in the clubhouse. I want to share, like Kai. And when I give these flowers to my neighbors, I can tell them that Jesus is alive. Oh, what a beautiful morning.
I am alive forever and ever. Revelation 1.18. I am alive forever and ever. Revelation 1.18. Can't do anything. Wow! Oh wow! Shout wow! Jesus can't do anything. Jesus is amazing. He's incredible. There's no one like him. Jesus does miracles, the impossible. There's no one like him. He's big and strong. So I Hey, John, have you seen my... Wait, I'm John! John, wait. <laughs> Why are your pants on your head? Why aren't your pants on your head? Mm. My name is John. And I'm Brandon. And we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. That's right. Today we're, wait, what? <laughs> what, what? Mm. Why are the credits, what's going on? These, these credits usually come at the end of the show.
feel like we really learned a lot today, buddy. We have? No, we just started. Why are you... Hey, what's your answer to the question of the day, Brandon? No, no, we haven't even revealed the question. The question of the day is, what have you discovered about God that surprised you? Don't give it away. No, no, what about Kellen, the Bible story, and all that stuff? Oh. (laughs) Oh. Reveal the question! What is happening, John? Everything is moving backwards. The show usually happens in the other direction. I don't know that, Brandon. But I do know this. There's nothing better than a hot and fresh apple pie. (sighs) Ah. Okay, I don't know how or why, but for some reason the show is upside down right now. Everything is moving backwards. See, normally we'd start the show, maybe have a guest we talk to for a while, and then someone would say, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Uh, Can one of you please explain what's happening? Is everything moving backwards for you too? Yes. Just look at the so-and-so show players. You see what I mean? Oh man, it's worse than I thought. Yeah, do, do you have any advice? No. But I do have an idea. Do you think that'll work? I don't know. Let's see. It worked! Great! What's our story today, Kellen? Our story today was written down by a guy named Luke in a book we now call Luke. He wrote about two followers of Jesus who were walking on the road to a village called Emmaus. I woke up this morning and for a moment I was happy. I'd forgotten about all the things that had happened. But then I remembered. I can't believe he's gone. I I, I don't even know what to do now. My whole world is turned upside down. (laughs) As they were walking, a man they didn't recognize came up and walked alongside them. up hello what are you talking about as you walk along you know just all the stuff that's been going on in Jerusalem with Jesus are you the only person visiting Jerusalem who doesn't know about the things that have happened these last few days what things about Jesus of Nazareth. He was a prophet. He was powerful in everything he said and did. We really thought he would be the one to set our people free. Yeah, but then our rulers had him arrested and sentenced to die. <laughs> they nailed him to a cross. And now it's the third day since he died. But then. <clears throat> then what? We were told that our friends went to Jesus' tomb and it was empty. Somebody must have stolen the body. <gasps> Mary and the others said that, that there were angels. I, I know, and but... the I mean, angels said that Jesus was still alive. We really want to believe it's true, but how could it be? They walked on, still very confused and sad. They had no idea that the man walking with them was actually Jesus himself. How foolish both of you are. Excuse me? How long it takes you to believe what the prophets said? Didn't the Messiah have to suffer these things and then receive his glory? I mean, I guess. We're a little rusty on what the prophet said. Then, Jesus explained everything that was said about himself in Scripture, rewinding all the way back to Moses and the prophets. It was like God had planned for this all along. Wow, it makes so much sense now. You sure know a lot about Jesus. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Here we are. (laughs) Oh, wait, wait. Do you have to keep walking? I have so much more to ask. It's getting dark. You could stay the night with us. Join us for dinner, at least. Okay. All right. Super. (laughs) I make great bread. So the man they thought was a stranger, but really was Jesus, joined them for dinner. And when Jesus gave thanks and broke bread, they finally recognized him. It's 
Jesus. But then Jesus disappeared from their sight. Did you? Was he? I did, and he was. I knew there was something special about him. The way he taught us about the prophets and Moses. We were so excited on the road, weren't we? We have to go back to Jerusalem and tell everyone. They'll never believe us. We have to try. When they got to Jerusalem, they told the 11 disciples what had been hard for them to believe, but what they knew to be true. What God had known would happen all along, that Jesus had come back from the dead. He was alive. The end. Hey, great job, so-and-so show players. Uh, oh, no. No, they're going backwards again. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Cool story, Kellen. Isn't it, though? Those two on the road thought they understood what was going on. Then God goes and does something completely impossible by bringing Jesus back from the dead. I always think it's surprising how God's plan works out. I know, but God plans for things like thousands of years in advance. How could we ever understand? We probably can't, but it helps to kind of rewind and see how God has made things work out in the past. That way, even if bad things happen or things we don't understand, we can trust that someone who is bigger and smarter than we are has got things under control. I wonder if God's got one of these. Probably not. Yeah. His is probably way bigger. Sure. Whoa, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Whoa, 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 oh, boy. No, I'll leave you to Wait, it. You Bye. Can't... Wow, that's someone who knows stuff was amazing. Makes me want to bake a pie. I don't even know how to deal with you right now. Thanks for having me. Bye. <laughs> That is awesome. Well, hey, that's all the time we have today, Felina. Thanks for coming on the show. Well, I think the best thing to remember is that even if your pie recipe doesn't turn out the way you expect, you can still have fun baking it. Mmm, huh. that's yummy. Any advice for someone out there who might want to learn how to bake a pie? Uh, I still don't know why this is happening. Oh, you know, apple, mm. cherry, pecan, strawberry rhubarb, mm. all the classics. But hey, I don't have to know everything, right? Huh, I'll have to try that. Hey, what are your favorite pies? Sometimes it's better to be surprised. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Oh, there's no right or wrong way to eat a pie, but I like to just pick up a nice warm pie and just smash it in my face. Uh, I know we already did this, but... You know, I've always wondered, what's the best way to eat a pie? Reveal the question! What have you discovered about God that surprised you? My name is Felina Tossi, and I make pies. Oh, well, welcome to the show! Who are you and what do you know? It could be something that you've read about God in the Bible, or it could be something that God has done in your own life. Welcome. Good to see you. Talk about it together, and we'll see you again, hopefully right side up this time, on The So-and-So Show. And I'm John. We know who you are, John. Welcome to The So-and-So Show. And action. Mm. Guys, here we go. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Wow. Marking. Loud. Rolling. So what are you doing after the show? I'm going to replace the batteries in this remote. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, mm. that was good. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do I have to do to get some coffee around here? Hey, John, are you ready to start the show? Now I'm confused. 